Welcome to Kamchatka. So right now I've got a guy walking away from me. Here's this guy walking along the edge of the plane. I usually wait for him an extra cycle, but I'm going to just try walking right past him. And there's this guy in the parka walking towards me who is going to grab groceries and ferry the groceries from this spot on the plane here to this mess hall, I'll call it. Is it the mess hall? I don't know what it's called. Yes, it's the mess hall. So he's picking up the groceries, and I'm just going to follow him. Usually I do not follow him, but I figure. I've done this so many times. I do not want to wait. So I'm just going to sneak behind him. I'm going to stay roughly straight, just sort of following the pattern of the... Uh, the, uh, where the snow is not blowing behind the plane. The plane is sheltering uh, me from the wind. And I'm going to make my way over to this mess hall. Crouched. I don't know if the snow has something to do with it, but I can get pretty close to these guys looking right at me if I am crouched. But they do not see me. I think it's kind of odd, but it works for me. But don't get cocky, or they will see you. So the guy in the parka walks into the uh, kitchen. So look at how close I am to this guy. I'm not even crap. I'm not even kneeling. my way over to this here hallway, or mess hall, I don't know why I said hallway, and I'm just going to get inside, and I don't know where the guy in the parka is. Now, I'm not going to walk over by those doors, because there's a guard over there by the stove. Grab this laxative. There's the borscht. Insert laxative in borscht. That's pretty quick, huh? Now, if the uh, guy in the park is giving me trouble, what I can do, like this, just go into this corner here. He'll be facing me, but he won't actually see me. There's my target, Mr. Hello, 47, uh, Diana here. There's an extraordinary coincidence Mr. taking Focus. place in... Can I have some soup down here? Coming up! Can I have some soup down here, man? That guy right there is the contact. He does not care if I'm here. Now, I'm going to walk out of this door in my suit. Walk right in front of this guy by the stove. He will not see me. I'm hugging this wall. All right, and I'm going to get out of the way here, because I don't know what's going on with this guy in the parka. Where is he? Yeah, he's on the plane. Borscht is served. Ah, uh, Borscht. Must unbedingt dieser Gottverdammte Borscht sein. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get out my fiber wire. Doesn't matter if I have it out because this uh, this suit will get me shot on sight anyway. Where's the guy in the parka? All right, he's making his way slowly towards. I don't know. He's getting close. Fabian feels sick. Is he going to turn towards me? Maybe. Maybe not. Guy in the park is getting really close. Although I don't know if he could see me from here anyway. 
I mean, the guard by the stove can't see. Uh, uh. Following this guy. <coughs> Just like that. Now, if he does sit down on the toilet, um, that's all right. Just get behind him in this corner here. He will take a long time, a couple minutes maybe, to actually do his thing, but... <clears throat> but... When he stands again, then you can use the fiber wire on him. And you can get his clothes now. And depending on how you, how you handle everything, you can, well, you know. The escort's right there. He's... He's just, he's not there to attack us. He won't come in here. He's just here. Наконец-то! Commander Bjarkov is ready to meet you at the ship. Follow me, Mr. Fox. Thank you, soldier. I'm feeling much better after that borscht emergency. That's pretty much it.